Good morning, everybody. Mom Terry here. Oh my God, I need some more coffee, right? All right, I want to show you one thing people do. We're going to talk about she got her stuff stolen on BLM land, but I'm going to show you this real quick. That's right, drive it, drive it. Like, oh, she's going to get into the gas station before me. Oh my God. Anyhow, okay, so last night I had to park over at the uh, Love's truck stop. I didn't want to get to BLM land too late. I had a lot of the video editing to do and uh, good Wi-Fi there, good cell service, a lot better than uh, the BLM. All right, so I wanted to point out, like you see these very long parking spaces for trucks. Well, we have a lot of little cars parking here. That one's okay, the little short one, because that's not really a truck one, but that one's really long. Okay, if you park into these truck camping spaces the trucks can't park here so where are they going to park they're going to park where you want to sleep at at night i'll show you right now <laughs> this one just dropped its trailer all right whatever but you know what if you want to be over here on the car side of the lot that's okay but then when you take up the truck parking spaces what they're going to do is they're going to come over here they're going to camp with you in the car section because like this one found a nice long one but, and then their generator's gonna run all night, and then you're gonna complain, oh my God, I can't sleep because the truck has its generator going. And it's like, but you just took his parking space. So let's be nice to the truckers. If it's a long slot, let the, see, engine running. See, so um, be nice to the truckers. Let the truckers have their parking space. You'll sleep a lot better in the little car camping spaces. It'll be a lot more quieter. All right, so let's talk about she got her stuff stolen over at BLM land. How did that happen? All right, so I met a wonderful woman. She was van camping and a lot of people do this. They'll leave their tents and stuff on BLM land. And uh, she was camping with about three other people. And she decided to come to town today and uh, you know, the other guy said, sure, we'll watch your stuff, we'll watch your stuff. And then someone forgot that they needed water, so they left the campsite, another one left the campsite. Pretty soon you have no one watching your stuff on BLM land. Okay, someone's pulling in, I think. Okay, so you have no one pulling, no one watching your stuff on BLM land. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing today. Uh, today is open house for the uh, RTR. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm camping with 25 other people. So I'm pretty sure that out of 25 other people that someone is going to be watching my stuff. Uh, the challenge with her was she had too few people watching our stuff. All right, hold on. We're going to go for a drive down uh, Main Street in Quartzsite, Arizona. And you know what? The sun is rising again. It's beautiful. I have Miss Lucy with me. It is 7.30 in the morning. Arizona doesn't pay attention to daylight savings time. No, they don't. It's 7.30 in the morning. So, today is the open house at the RTR. Um, and I think it's a brilliant idea. Why do I think it's a brilliant idea? Hold on, I'm going to switch. We're going to switch views. I'm going to pull in where it's safe. And uh, see if I can get this going. Hold on. No. When I pulled over, there's the little stagecoach motel. Best Chinese food in town. All right, so we're gonna talk about the RTR, WRTR, open house. Open house means I'm gonna be showing off my van today. And yay! Vans are in the afternoon, I hope. I, you, you never know, right? Okay, so uh, how's the woman's RTR going? The woman's RTR was fantastic. I attended for a few days. Um, it was very, very nice. Um, yesterday I was gone all day. Have it. I have to do videotapes of everything. You know, at the uh, WRTR, I don't uh, videotape because, you know, there are a lot of women that are escaping, uh, you know, domestic violence and everything. And I respect their privacy. I really do. But you know what? They talked about sleep and hygiene and all this other stuff. I, I know it all. And if you follow my uh, channel, you will too. <laughs> Anyhow, um, Last year, what happened was they did the open house of our vehicles at the end of the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. Well, a lot of the women had to leave. So what we're having now is the Women's Rubber Tramp Rendezvous 
open house transitioning into the regular rubber tramp rendezvous. So that's wonderful. This way, if the women have to leave, they get to see how all of us uh, live in our vehicles. Oh my God, isn't that a magnificent sunrise? It really is. Hey, there is world famous Silly Owl's Pizza. This year, two more pizza shops opened up in town. Woohoo! Yay! Oh man, you know, the little vendors, I can see them starting up. Now this afternoon, I'll probably do a drive through There are literally thousands of vendors here, thousands of them. Um, oh my gosh, I was so delighted. I uh, videotaped a guy that uh, was doing gold separation and he already got almost 2,000 views. So thank you guys, thank you for liking that. That was the neatest little machine that I ever saw. All right, so uh, also, I uploaded a video by Swanky's van or whatever. Swanky has a really nice van. Uh, some of you were commenting, uh, am I gonna show the interior? Well, I did the short one to whet your appetite, and then I did a long one of the interior. Swanky explained a bunch of stuff. Uh, she can describe her vehicle so much better than I can. I am, trust me, I'm not a car salesman. All right, there's Taco Mio. I go to Gringo's, I like Gringo's. I'm gonna go over here to Barbie's uh, restaurant. That should be interesting. Anyhow, thanks for enjoying the uh, drive with me. It really is relatively early in the morning, 7.30, sun's not up yet, but I'm gonna drop Miss Lucy off at the dog park, let her play for a little while, upload this video, and uh, go clean, not clean out my van. This van is really livable the way I have it uh, set up right now. What I wanna do is take down some curtains so y'all can uh, just pop your head in and look in my uh, vehicle so you get a gander as to what we do here, okay? Um, you know, how do I craft in here? How do I cook in here? I tell everybody all of the time, I live in my van. Some people, like Sue Ann, she lives out of her car. And that's okay, you can live out of your car, you know, pull up to a picnic table, do what you want. But I, I'm, uh, you know, for as claustrophobic as I am, I live in this vehicle and I love it. You know, I do all my cooking in here, I do my crafting in here, everything is so set up. I can move fluidly, wash my dishes, done. Cook a meal, done, love it. You know, and I have so much storage in here and Miss Lucy fits, that's the important thing, right? Miss Lucy fits in here. She's gonna be so happy when we get to the dog park and I will put Miss Lucy at the end of this. I hope also that you're enjoying all my little shorts. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do a short on all of the uh, daily and weekly activities of Quartzsite. Up until it gets roasting hot here, it's like, uh, here's something to do, here's something to do, here's something to do. There is always something to do. This town is so quirky, it's amazing, I love it, and it's a lot of fun, it really is. Unfortunately, you know, I'm when I do the open house today, I won't be able to go around and videotape other people. I feel bad about that, because I know you all want to look at uh, other vehicles, um, I want to look at other vehicles too, but it's one or the other. I wish they were doing this a little bit longer. I really do, but uh, they're not. Um, let's see what else happened. Oh my gosh, you know, okay, I've only camped on BLM property. I can count a handful of times. It just wasn't my jam, you know, because I always felt like a lone woman being out there all by myself, and I hated that idea. But camping with other people, you bet, it's a blast. I love having the campfire. The other day, Minnie Van Lee, she took us all for, well, she didn't, she videotaped it. She, uh, she had someone lead us out on a walk. Um, and we saw like a 200 year old cactus, I believe. Uh, we were gonna go over and see the petroglyphs. I could not do that. And I'll tell you why I couldn't do that. So this ground is, I'm gonna get a lot of solar this morning. This ground is really rocky on and hard on Miss Lucy's little paws. So I started carrying her through the desert, which she's 10 pounds, not a problem. I didn't realize that all of my stitches under here, you know, I have a lot of stitches and oh my God, it really hurt. So I only got to go to the tree. I will uh, post that video. They have like out here the uh, 
oldest ironwood tree. I think it's over a thousand years old. I saw that last year, but I'll do a nice little short of it. Like I said, so much to do here in Quirky Quartzsite. I hope you can join us and I hope to see you down the road, but wait a minute. I'm going to uh, flip this around. What do we say here, Miss Lucy? We will see you down the road and goodbye from Quirky Quartzsite.